The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Friday the 12th, uh, a special day for me tomorrow, celebrating a little bit of a birthday there. So we're looking at the Dow down 77 at 37,634. Um, it's nothing. Look, this is just nothing here. We're just sideways. When you, when you think about, oh, my God, what a turn. We were up at 37,825, the all-time high, just moments ago, and now we're down. This is part, I think, part of a distribution phase whereby all that's happening is that fund managers are moving from one sector to the other. They're coming out of, uh, say, uh, Home Depot that they were, they were deeply in. It's had a big rally, so then they got out of, and now they've gone into a, a, a Microsoft's even pulled back a little bit from an all-time high. Just you, Boeing has been, let's see what Boeing's doing here, Boeing. Well, Boeing deserves to be much lower. Oh, it's only down three at 219. The 200-period moving average is at 214. But within that, um, it's just a replacement of their positions at this particular point. It isn't a major sell. And when you get um, inflation coming down, you can't really expect a huge sell-off. I'm expecting just this rotation to continue we might find that we rotate sideways and maybe touch on the Dow over the next week. 37,000, we're at 37,651, 600 points, not even 2%. And then all of a sudden it forms a base and it tries to rally again. Oh, that could be a, a key support level and it breaks under it. Next thing you're looking at the 36,900s as being a repellent zone. We don't know. But what I, I do know is that, let me go to this because it's so important. And I've got to admit that we are... Still short, uh, just a very nominal short, a one-to-one -one short, small position. Uh, <clears throat> and that's fine. That's exactly the position we want because we've got core longs from way back that I want to keep holding. Don't even touch those. But I said back in August the 1st, we had that top in the Dow. And my, my question, as we were getting to the most recent high, and I just have to deflect for a moment to go here to say, you remember I said that within the context of all the things that I look at, there's a chance I'm going to have to start calling this the Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover as more a Chapman Wave Dark News Index. Mm. I know a lot of people said, oh, Cloud Cover, that's like a, the, the candle. This has got nothing to do with the candles. And this particular, this has only to do with how the market relates to news and not the news. I couldn't care about the news. It's how the market responds, and that's all that I want to look at. So within this context, um, we're looking at the side. I didn't even know what color to do this. I said, I can't put a big white rectangle here, as I've done in all the other consolidations that turned uh, sharply lower. I said, this is just a, a, a modest color. Let me just look at uh, Tiger. You can barely see it in Tiger YouTube. So then let me just do, do this. Um, full color, I'll make it a little bit full color right there. Other, I'll make it just a tad lighter, a little tad darker. Eh. Oh, I want it lighter, right? A yeah, tad lighter. I don't know if you'll see it, but there it is. It's a tad lighter. All right, yeah, there you can see it. Is that right? Um, <laughs> well, that rectangle is the one. Okay, and why? Because we don't have the higher yields. We don't have um, we don't have news related or sitting out there that really could impact the market horribly, not just negatively, but horribly. So I said I can see signs, little hints, little little bits of clouds, and it's really as I say, like a, an index, a cloud, dark news. I have about five different uh, parameters, uh, spe specifics that I need to look at. And I, I can barely see uh, two or three there, so I don't see why the I don't see a reason yet for this to be a big tumble to the thirty six thousand level. I can see a pullback under thirty seven thousand over the next week or so, but that's not the point. The point is, there's this 
rotation going on. So let me just show you what I'm looking at here because we'll see next week whether this is correct, a correct assessment or an incorrect assessment. And what I'm looking at is that over a period of days, um, so we just made a new recovery high, a new all-time high today. So now I, I need a down, a lower high to be able to consider that I can put in a vertical assessment of the technicals, and I would do it right here. I can't really do that now because we haven't made a lower high. But I'm just saying to you, look, the on-balance volume is extremely overbought. It was overbought, and now it's gone even more overbought, number one. Number two is the nine-period moving average right here over the 14-period moving average. Nothing to see here. I can see it starting to turn down, but it's not changed, really changed direction yet. So the green nine-period moving average would take a good bunch of selling, and that can happen because we are overbought in all, any way I measure the market right now. We are in overbought territory. So that would mean that the nine-period moving average goes, and this is the Dow, underneath the 14-period moving average. And uh, so we're at 37,598 right now, down 111. And the 14-period moving average is at uh, 37,490. So we, we need to still drop at least another 100 points just for the price to touch the line. But for the gray line, that's the Dow's price right now, to actually drag the nine-period moving average to pink underneath the 14-period moving average to go from green to pink, I, I would put 37,300 to 200 at least, at least. All right, it can happen. We'll see if it does. All right, so with that said, I'm going to get out of all this stuff. There's a lot to talk about. I just want to go through it very quickly because we've got a long weekend. So for the for my subscribers, usually over the weekend, I do my one at least an hour long a video, market overview, what we're looking at, which stocks, which ETFs, et cetera, et cetera, what, what's working well. We do have one that's already moved 100% um, that we've been looking at and being very favorable to. Um, and I, I just don't, I'm not sure just yet where I, when I'm going to be able to do that video. I might do it late this afternoon and have it this evening, uh, post it this evening, uh, or I might have it Sunday. We'll see. So that's for subscribers to my opening call. Now, within that context, a couple of things I want to look at here. Did I just get a question? Yes, I did. Um, Oh, right here, yeah, S&P says uranium blast off. So let's just look at that because I want to look at what's really working right now. So URNM, that is uranium. I type? Oh, I always do that. Don't type it there. Get out of that. That's INDU. That's my chart. I only want for the Dow. This is a chart I can use for anything. So URNM, URNM um, is straight. Whoa. It's trading up 7% at 56.12, up 3.82. Leg C in the daily chart, leg C in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly chart. This is a Sprott Uranium Miners ETF. And what I said weeks and weeks ago, I expect I, I, um, Jacob and I were talking on Tuesday, and I was talking about how uranium, I've been talking about this for weeks uh, when I was interviewed by Tom, and then again by Jacob, that uranium is something going on. And this looks like not just a, a cyclical rally, but it looks like a secular rally that is just moving out there. There's a reason for that, you right? I'll be back in a moment. The guys don't want to put this piece on yet. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. So, um, 28.10 is the 200 period exponential tipping average in the 10 minute chart. Let's see if that becomes a support level. And that 47.98 horizontal, that very long term, Horizontal line, a long-term meaning is a 10-minute bar. So long-term takes us back to about a week ago. Maybe it's a little bit more than a week ago. Um, let me see. Do I put a down arrow yet on the on this peak E and the 10-minute charts now down forward 48. Oh, it just hit it. 48.10. There it is. So uh, uh, this is very important. All I, I feel that the last couple of days have seen traps to the upside. I don't like that. It means that. People have been fooled into buying um, at the highs, sometimes in some cases all-time highs. And now that takes me to something else that I need to talk about. Uh, let me just see YouTube, Tiger YouTube. Let's see. Okay, breaking. Okay. It's officially broken above 4,800 for the first time since January 2022. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, and thank you again for that. Uh, UEC, 10% another uranium ETF, docu popping again. Myrna back uh, to 110. Defense stocks stuck in mud. Yep, that's interesting, isn't it? Nokia, uh, NOC is North of Gumman, I believe, uh, is doing best. Uh, EKS says UEC up 300% in eight months. Could be too late to enter the uranium plane now. Uh, someone is coming. Someone market happened in orange, happened in orange juice, parabolic thing crashed. Okay, so, uh, so we're looking at uranium, and what I was saying is that it looks to me as if <clears throat> something is going, as opposed to crude oil, look at this chart here. Crude oil is not a great looking chart at all. So uranium tells me that, and this is what we've been talking about for months, that there's there is buying that is going on is under the surface. It's really a little joke there. Um, it's something we can't really see. I mean, visually, you can see there's a beautiful uh, cup formation in the Sprott Uranium Miners. I had left side, right side price time match to go to two months ago, and they would have been to the high of 52, was it? Uh, 50, yeah, 52 round number high back on the. Uh, 30th of uh, November uh, 2022, 
comes all the way back down to the 20s and then comes right back and here it is at 56. So it came to that level. Um, it just missed it by, um, by two months in time, by um, just two points in points itself. And now it's broken sharply high. And I've been talking about this UEC, which we've had for a long time. Uranium Energy Core spoke to uh, Jacob about it, spoke to Tom about it. And I, 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 it just, look, 767 right now. So we're in at 364, uh, 60, I think it is. Uh, three, um, I should know this. Three, I believe it's 360. Yeah, 364. 364. So it's a, it's a, you know, a, in, a, in a single do dollar stock to go to that, to the 770 level, now over 100%, that, you know, that's... That's unusual, but it's not that. It's this nine-period moving average in the weekly chart. Look at the look at the width between the black 14-period moving average and the higher green nine-period moving average, and you deflect it higher. Uh, and then I spent days and days and days talking about this particular pattern here. It's the, in the today's technical Friday, so we'll do that right now. <clears throat> this is a ch huge one, of the biggest for the for the price of the stock. In the sixes, this is one of the biggest Chapman Wave Roman candles I've seen in years. The rule of thumb is within two bars, if it holds, especially if it's the very next bar, if it holds under the midway point of the long wick at the bottom for more than a shorter time period, so it's a daily chart, I'd say been 90 minutes in the daily, there's a real good chance it'll retest the low. If it closes above the high, that's really positive. So what did it do? It had another, this time a green Chapman Wave Red, a green Roman candle, and we didn't close, it uh, didn't hold under 90 minutes at all. We, in fact, the low that was the next day was a 634. And um, the high that was made on the 14th was 619, uh, 675, and the very next day was 675. So parallel highs. And then the very next day, a lower high, and a little uh, kind of a... Um, Call it a dragonfly a candle. And then there's another. We didn't do this. And then finally you broke and closed above it. This becomes really bullish when you don't break down, then you start to close above the high. Well, here we are. We're at this big candle. Yes, it's getting overboard. Certainly it's getting overboard in the short term. Yes, the unbalanced one, it's the highest it's been. And the, the stochastic has finally got to 80%. Bank D is good. Nine's over the 14, and the price is way over the nine. So um, it says, yep, we're getting close to some kind of a pullback. But that's a breakout to new highs. In fact, this is the irony of the whole thing. I, I should have been adding to it. I wanted to do it. I just never did. But look at this. I forgot all about I put this in a long time ago. I put in 748 was the high in November of 2010. I, I, there's a particular candle that I always choose if it's very difficult to find a plumb line, meaning from the left side high to the left side low, that looks like there could be a turnaround, a cup formation that takes you to back to the price that you were at in the same number of bars. Well, that would have been impossible when I was looking at this uh, before we even went along back in 2020. But look at this. 748 was the high, and look what we just did today. We went to... 7.72. and But look, this is the price time match. It was to next month. It was to February. It's a monthly chart. It should have been to February. It missed it. But in the very short term, it did it perfectly. Here's your Chapman Wave inside wedge target uh, repellent line. Here's your cup formation. And uh, within this context, at 6.60 was our target. And we took it out last month, which was perfect. And then this month, it broke above it. And that was one month earlier than the very long-term 14-year, well, 13 and three-quarters year, um, distance between the, the previous top and this top. Uh, not top, this price right now. <laughs> you don't want to call it a top if you don't know. Okay, so okay, so uranium is in. And that just says to me, this is like a, this is a geopolitical statement. That's what I'm looking at. That's all I can say. All right. Uh, next thing we want to look at here is... Um, I, uh, what was the question? Oh, Nokia. Uh, no, no, not Nokia, but Northrop Grumman, NOC. Uh, yes, it's had a very nice move. But out of these, remember, I had said that GD, 
when we, I think it was Ernie that called months ago and he was looking at um, uh, Lockheed Martin. I said, it looks good, but the one that seems to have all the buying power is um, General Dynamics. And here it is, made an all-time, uh, yep, an all-time high. Uh, two weeks ago, that was December the 20-something. December, uh, no, January the 3rd. January the 3rd, um, GSAC in the weekly, an all-time high. Uh, in the, no, well, let me see before I say an all-time high. Let's look at the big picture here. Yep, all-time high in the monthly chart. So that's the one that really has done the best. General Dynamics, I don't know what they, they do. That is so much demand military wise that they have some shrink defense. I'll be back. Dials down seven is the channel. Right. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So I said I'd look at this. So I had a question. Uh, well, a, a number of people have been asking me about the for, for the last few days. This, these are subscribers mostly, um, and, and when subscribers ask me something, it's very different to when I see it. Uh, you know, other questions around because these are very specific questions, and it pertains more to the newsletter and what people are very interested in. <coughs> Excuse me. So Bitcoin US dollar made a peak D back in 2021. 
just under 70,000. And then it had a little bit of a tumble into the teens, under about 18 or so, 18,000. And then it had a really good rally. And that rally was very, um, in the weekly chart, I wasn't going to say in the five-minute chart, but this is the weekly chart because it's in the middle right here. Uh, let me just show you something that I think is telling us a story here. In this weekly chart, you can see that this is a, uh, an, uh, an instrument that loves in the Chapman wave to go to peak D, E, or F. Mostly it's Ds or Es, but once in a while, like it was back in 2021, it went to the weekly chart back in uh, March or so of, of 2021, went to a peak F, made a cup formation, and ran all the way back, and it went up to a new high of, of peak D, then it pulled back. And you can see this 200 period moving average. Yeah, it became a little bit of a support, then a resistance, then resistance, then support, and then support, and it took off. It spent uh, about six months, five, six months on that line before it eventually took off. But now what we've done is we've had a really big rally, and the last rally, once again, is in the leg E. And the concern I have here is that it's way underneath the previous highs. This high here is different. The high of the week of the 2nd of April, which is at 48 to 40. And today's high is 46,522. Um, but yesterday, the other day, it hit 49,000. So it's gotten to that level. Now, I've not, I never did a left side, right side price time match to this. Um, there's a particular candle that I would have used right there. It got in a little early. But the high that we're looking at as a target over a long period of time is a high that was made back in October, November, was it? November, the week of the 13th of uh, 69, lo and behold, 69,000, 69,000, zero, 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 period, zero, zero. A round number high. All right? What if I made a round number low? I don't think so. Uh, 50,000, 512, 50,790, 50,460. All right, well, that was a low. Okay. So uh, what's really important to me is that the stochastics at 87%, that's good. It is pulling back, but it's good. The unbalanced volume isn't any bit close as overbought as it was back in April, uh, April May, June, July, uh, going all the way into October, November, 21 to 22 to those highs. Look how it was very overboard. The stochastic um, went over 80%, went to 90, and then it pulled back, and then it went under 20%, and then it didn't hold very long over 80%, and then it pulled back. So this is going to be very important. Every time it fails at 80%, that price either goes sideways or it stalls. So there we are. So this is important because it shows this internal strength, this still internal strength. When I go to the daily chart with a potential peak F right here, and I, it, when you think of the, was it five, was it five ETFs that were approved, or was it seven, whatever it is, um, that's usually climactic because there's anticipation, and then you get to sell the news. So to, in, in, in order to, I, I, I was asked if I'd just do a discussion of this particular instrument, the Bitcoin, US dollar, current, it's, it's a pair. Now, what we're looking at is to get the nine period in the daily chart to go negative under the 14 and change from green to pink, you'd have to go probably quite a bit underneath the candle of the 8th of January, which had a low of 43,200. We're at 44,758. I think we're in a short-term topping formation. So I'm going to do this, and I'm, I'm gonna, I, I won't do it now. I'll do it in preparation for next week. I'm going to go all the way to the Grand Canyon cliff on the left, and then I'm going to choose a particular candle. I'll start off with this, and I'll see where it takes me in time. I don't think I think this is wrong. This is I should move out a little bit. It's going to take a little while, and then I think we will test the 38,000s, 39 to 38,000. But what's really important is I was asked about Ethereum as well, and this has made that big spike to a leg D, and now it's possibly a peak D today in the daily, leg D in the weekly. Leg D in the monthly Ethereum, uh, same category in the, the Bitcoin category, um, trading at 22.71, up 83 cents right now. Chapman Wave Roman candle 
if at any point, and usually I give it two days, I might stretch it to three, but then there's a whole different connotation. If it trades for, I'd say 60 minutes to 90 minutes below 21.30, it's a 22.71, that's a long way to go, 20, 21.30. There's a real good chance it will test the low of the yesterday's candle. Most importantly, I would then get a peak that says daily peak, but the weekly is still very strong in leg D. So one step at a time, if there's a close above yesterday's high for two out of three sessions, that's a really big positive, and it says you've raised the base of support. Um, so in other words, 23.16, close above that for two out of three consecutive sessions. Today's one. And it's under it so far. Today's high is only 23 round number. Um, I'll be looking at this. So, yes, if I go to GBTC, that's the Bitcoin fund, peak F, if there's no new high today, and I don't think there will be. Leg E, it's the same pattern with this, this kind of, well, we know where it closes. But it's got this candle that looks like mm, dragonfly type candle. We don't know yet. In the meantime, the weekly chart, monthly chart is still very strong leg C. So digestive phase. What would I say if it's, it's, if it's a, a, maybe a 10, 12% pullback from where we are? Um, no, from where we were yesterday. Um, that's a possibility. And, um, and then we'll have to go from there. So, okay, I did that. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Um, then I had a question here about Lucid. L-C-I-D. Hmm, CID, huh? LCID, LCID is lucid. L, lucid, CID, I thought that's what, no. Yes, it is, there it is. Oh, ah, ooh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Um, $3.02, down 23 cents, down 7%. I mean, we've been talking about this for, I just don't know how long, saying it is such a tough business. I mean, just look at the money that's been poured into batteries, which is has huge potential. This is just one isolated electric car company, or electric vehicle, I should say, because they make, some, make vans, um, or these trucks. And look at that. Just red candles for the last, uh, since, since about the mid-December mid in the 5.30 area. Here we are, three, three, two. Oh, please. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just too tough. Okay? I mean, what a business to be in right now. Look at Tesla. They've got everything going for them. And Tesla's been struggling. It's almost the same as Lucid, but in a higher, much higher level. Down 4.8 to 222. And this is a company that has a lot going for it. Okay, that was that. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I just wanted to show you, look, here's the one minute chart. How, is it, how important is this 200 period exponential moving average? Look at this. This is just from 10 o'clock. It's like a sine wave. It goes up and down and up and down. What's the midpoint? This is 48.16, 200 period moving average. Wait a minute. Here's the uh, five minute chart. <clears throat> How important is the 200 period moving average? Up and down and up and down. Huge up. And where does it come down to? Where's it testing the dreaded H pattern right now? 48.11. Where's the 200 period moving average in the five minute chart? 48.11. Wait a minute. And then made a peak E. We're talking about peak E's in the um, uh, BTC USD instrument. And now here are yeah, you are on the uh, 200 period moving average of the 10 minute chart as well. And not, not only that, how long has this been the midpoint? What's the level you got to watch today? 47.98. That's the midpoint of the horizontal a trend line that I drew in ages ago, and I said, watch this, it's going to be very important over the next week or two, and there it is. So, and, and look at this, such good news this morning about in, uh, deflation, and yet the market is not holding it. Now the S&P is down 7, the Dow's down 223. So I want you to just go through this. Um, yesterday I had a call from John in Philly, and he was talking about uh, uh, positions, about you know, how it's it, you know get, identifying a position and then staying in the position is really important. So I mentioned this chart here. This is from my CD introducing the Chapman Way methodology. It's a CD book, but it's kind of out of print, and it's such a it's a CD. I mean, nobody uses CDs. I'm just I've been toying with this idea for ages. How do I do it? What do I do? to go out there to send out uh, something like a very comprehensive pattern recognition, all these sorts of things that are so important in the Chapman Wave. I have a myriad different techniques that it would be nice to update and put into something, but I don't know what vehicle yet. I, I'm thinking about it. But what was important is, you see the price trend going up? Doesn't this look wrong, the down arrow? So if you're very nimble, you can trade these little, little rip ties here. But the main thing is if you are long and you are right, then the market saves you so that that becomes your pattern that you're looking at. You're buying low, hopefully, and it's making higher highs, and you're just moving with the trend. Fortunately, this is kind of what we've done uh, with our Microsoft that I said. This is our proxy for the Dow Diamonds back on October, the last day, I think, of October. Um, I said, we're going to use this instead of the diamonds. I should have used both. I don't know why I did them both instead of just one. But yes, uh, Microsoft made an all-time high yesterday. So did the Dow. Dow made a new all-time high. So now what we're looking at is um, this is the trend. So it's very difficult. So yes, as I said, we, we've gone short on a shorter-term pos position for the Dow. The core longs are just not touching those core longs. But most importantly, 
this is a very difficult period. Um, if anyone listened to the uh, uh, what was it F um, cycles or F F F C F S C. Um, so this is a foundation for uh, studying the cycles. Um, it was fantastic. Everybody just had this, you know, uh, very bullish. Uh, Larry, uh, Larry Williams, um, and I very own Stan Hawley. Uh, just a, a lot of people. Uh, Jake Bernstein, and I've got his book right here. My my first book I ever really got, besides Joe Granville, was Jake Bernstein, The Complete Day Trade. I don't know if it's probably out of print by now, but that was that's where I started using certain moving averages. Uh, I don't. I'm not very big at, at continuing to study whoever it is. I just. I then go on my own way. That's just the way it's always been. But anyway, it was fabulous. But and then Prater comes along, and you can't disagree. He's got the overbought levels. The um, Institute uh, for uh, what was it? The the Institute that has uh, just for general general populace, and they've got a statistic out on bearish and bullish, very bullish. Uh, I mean, yeah, everything looks overbought. That doesn't mean to say that the markets have to go down. You've got to try to do your own independent work, but it's not always easy. Uh, it's not always easy because look at this. You've got the QQQ, which the other day made an all-time high on the 12th of December at 412.92, has made this V-shaped pattern. Remember, it's the reverse of the dreaded H. This is the reverse Y. And it keeps stalling, and it just can't get out of its own way. But it's not breaking down. Not only that, there's more evidence to say this is a PB with a little tiny doji candle here than an F. All we have to do is break to 412.93, uh, and you get to a leg C in the weekly chart. That's already very positive. And look at the monthly. So... How do you put this whole package together? Not only that, in the um, let's just go to the Dow for a moment. I know people always say, oh, the Dow is just 30 stocks. Hey, they're the most important stocks because they are a conglomerate of the United States of America's economy. It's just a Home Depot, JP Morgan, um, Boeing, Apple, Amgen, American Express, Honeywell, uh, Goldman Sachs, CVX, the uh, uh, Chevron. I mean, you can just go triple M. You can go on and on and on. United Health, just go on all over the show, right? Well, and Dow Chemical. Well, what's really important about this is that this is still a leg A. So if on a Tuesday of next, remember Monday's a holiday. If on Tuesday is there a, there is a higher high above thirty seven thousand eight twenty five point twenty seven. If it goes one penny, if it goes to point two eight. You know what that means? That means that this leg A is still in place for the whole. You have to wait a whole week. If it doesn't say on Tuesday, what, I, it doesn't matter. Tuesday, when, you then have to wait for the entire next week because you've already got leg A. I'm not calling it an F. At this point, I'm calling it an A. Um, and that says any pullback um, has to occur right away and no new high all of next week. And then we get a peak. So isn't that interesting? So with that said, I'm I'm very cautious right here. Yes, we have longs. And um, I even am looking at longs in areas that are different to anything else, separate from the usual market participants. And the reason is, this is a diverse a rotating market. And fund managers are going to look at what's not working anymore and what is working for instance apple look at that this is the apple chart this is fabulous apple um is that an e or a b in the monthly chart is that an f or a b in the weekly chart we won't know this is different because the technicals here are really failing so we're looking at something very different just made a peak b and maybe if it does that today but there's that gap it hasn't even filled i mean when, when an apple cannot fill a gap in two weeks, That's, uh, that makes that gap a real issue. Not only that, you remember I had the Chapman Wave uh, unconventional flat-based restart to the 188s where we were up here, somewhere in the 193 or even higher. I said, geez, I keep coming back down and at some point we can take out that, that low that was made uh, back into 87. 
and that's become a resistance level. So when I put the package together, it just says, you know, this is one with the cautious. I don't, I don't have any big cell signal at this point. I have something that says we have started a, a consolidation. I'll be back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, Kamiko's call in the den. I was talking about it. I completely forgot. In the back of my mind, I'm saying there's one that I did a detailed study in the long term with a monthly chart. I wonder where that is. Here it is, Kamika, 44.81 back in 2011. This is like 
uh, UEC, uh, the uh, Uranium Energy Core. So look at this, 4481. And then what does it do? Plummets down to the fives or sixes? No, fives. Yep, fives. And now it's trading at 50, 10 time gain. And peaky in the den, I believe you still have this as a leg D. And look at this monthly. Exactly. I forgot all about this. I had to move the plumb line. I even discussed why I moved the plumb line and where I moved it to. And that takes me to that takes me to February, where it should have hit 44.81, trading at 50.34 right now. Wow, that's uranium. So it's really huge. Hey, have a wonderful long weekend, everyone. And uh, yeah. And I will see you on Tuesday. Uh, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and have a great weekend. Stay tuned for Steve Rose.